Alright, you may be asking yourself, dude, what the hell are you doing with your bumper off your car and why are you getting it ready to uh, do something to? Well, if you haven't noticed in previous videos, I've got this massive scrape on the side of it um, from when I first got the car and I, uh, I found a wall. So, not to mention my mum reversing into me with her tow bar. So what we're going to be doing today is a really cheap alternative to a uh, Commodore's sports armour. Now you can go get a genuine sports armour from Holden for like, I think it's like 200, 250 bucks or something like that. But what I'm going to do today is because I want to cover them up and I don't really want to go spend the money to lower my car a little bit because it already scrapes and everything anyway, I'm just going to try a DIY approach and get some plaster dip and we're going to paint the sports armour on there. So I'm going to start sanding it up, then we're going to putty it and sand it again and then we can finally get into the painting. So let's start prepping this bar. Okay, so my idea is to start by sanding everything I want. So I'm going to sand this little bit here, sand under there to get rid of the dags with my sanding block. Sand all along here where it's all scraped, just there where it's scraped and do a little bit there where the... Uh, the dent is from the tow bar because that's everywhere I'm going to spray putty. Then once I'm finished sanding it all up and sort of prepping it a bit, I'm going to spray it with the spray putty, um, let that dry and then we'll sand it back to try and shape it. I'm hoping I can build up a little bit on there so that so I can sort of, because it's been shaved off so much I want to try and make it to how it used to be but I'm not 100% sure if the spray putty will do that but I guess we'll give it a go. And then once the spray putty's dry we just got to sand it back and then it's ready to paint. By the way, I'm starting it off by using 180, so. We'll give it a little bit of a clean with the trusty wax and grease remover. Okay, so after cleaning it off with the wax and grease remover, um, the can on the putty says you should leave the wax and grease remover to dry for about 15 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna leave it 15 minutes. I've just shaken up the can to kill some time and I'm gonna tape off the areas that I wanna paint so that I don't get any overspray anywhere and then we can get into the painting of the putty. Okay, this is the moment of truth. We have got the primer ready. The whole bumper is ready to be uh, primed up now. The, the wax and grease remover is dried on it. So wish me luck. All right guys, so I just finished up the last coat of the primer filler. Um, I've done four coats of it. You gotta leave five minutes in between each coat. But this is what it's looking like so far. It's, it's not, I guess it doesn't fill heaps, but it will just do it enough so that it won't look as bad. Especially here, there's still some scrapes, but you can't even see that. There's still some scrapes just there, but we'll try and paint and sand that out. And then this one covered up pretty well, actually. Pretty happy with that one. You can still see little bumps, but that should sand out a bit. And down here is all right. Underneath, I don't really care about it. I'm just doing it, well, because I can. But it doesn't really matter that much. So it says to leave it for about 30 to 60 minutes. Um, I'll probably leave it for a bit now just to be certain that it's good. Um, then we've got to sand it up and make it look all schmink pretty. So it's completely dry now and I've taken all the tape and uh, the sheet and everything I had on it off now. Um, so it's ready to sand. Now we're going to be sanding with, we're going to start with 180, then I'm going to go 400 and then I'm going to go 2000. Just to make sure it gets that really smooth feel. Now I've got, I've got it in the shade at the moment to give it its sand because I'm going to paint it in the shade as well. I don't want the bumper being hot because well, the whole plasti dip, um, trying to get it in a straight line stuff, you need to do it really quickly and then rip all the masking tape and stuff off as soon as you finished it and you can only do one coat. So I want to cool it down so it will, it will slow the cooling process and then once I've done it and I've ripped all the masking tape and stuff off, then I'll move it into the sun just so it gets that really good, um, really good drying temperature because I want it to be nice and hot and it'll dry quick so I can whack it on this afternoon. Okay, so the wind's picked up a little bit, so I've resorted to the bin area, but at the moment, um, my battery died for one, so I just went ahead and done some things. So pretty much I've sanded it all up, it's ready to be painted. Um, it's all cleaned up with the wax and grease remover. And then I taped it all up for what I want to paint, stuff like that, masked everything up, and then cleaned it off again because the wind actually put a bit of dirt and stuff on it. So that's all good now. So pretty much we're ready to paint. Um, I'm just waiting, I'm just going to wait a little bit for the wax and grease remover to dry a bit and then we're going to get into the first coat, well the first and only coat. Now we're doing this, if you don't have any damage on your bumper, you only need to sand 
or um, putty it up or anything like that. You just need to clean it off and paint it straight away. But because I had some damage, I wanted to putty it up and sand it and all that sort of thing. So that's all fine and I've cleaned it all up and it's ready to go. Because I'm trying to get a straight line with Plasti Dip, now usually this is very hard to do. When you let it dry and then try to peel the tape away, it actually tears the Plasti Dip. So what we're doing is I've taped it all up and pretty much we have to do it very quickly so I won't be able to talk to you guys. You can sit there and just watch me. I've got to do one heavy coat that's even over the whole area and then just rip the tape and stuff off straight away and let it dry like that. That's the only way to get a straight line with the Plasti Dip without having to get a knife and cut it. So I'm gonna give it a crack, hopefully it works out and if it doesn't work out, well then buying a new bumper. <laughs> All right guys, wish me luck. It's not 100% the best, but I think we've done pretty well. Okay, now that was freaking terrifying. <laughs> it's not, I guess, the way I hoped it would be. It's a little, I don't know, it's all right, but it's a little shitty. And I had to do a bit of a touch up just then, so it's still drying, it's different colors at the moment. This is how we look right now. You can see the wet paint and dry underneath the thing there. Yes, so so I'm gonna let that sit in the sun for an hour because that's how long it says it needs I'll probably let it sit for a little bit longer just because you know I want it to really bite on there but You know, hopefully it all worked out. If not, it's only plastic dip so I can rip it off So yeah, we're gonna let that cure in the sun for a little bit and you'll see the finished product I hope it's good. All right guys, we're all back together now. Uh, Nick actually come over and helped me put the bumper back on. You guys all know Nick. And I think it looks pretty good. So this is how it turned out. I'm pretty happy with it. From a distance it looks really sick. Um, you get a little bit close and if you, you really look at it, if I turn the brightness right up, you can see just those marks there. It's a bit of a paint run, which sort of sucks, but when you're trying to paint and then rip it off straight away in one go, and trying to get a, a really thick coat in one go, it's actually quite hard to not make it run. So I don't know how the professionals do it, but maybe after a bit of practice, I might be actually be good at it. But I think it'll come out pretty well. Um, I guess it, it's the best finish as I thought it was gonna be, really. I knew it wasn't going to be perfect and I knew the lines probably won't be great. I'm actually pretty happy with how I uh, actually taped it and cut it in, so I think that looks alright. I have one little nick where it uh, tore a tiny bit, but it's only like, you know, 20 mil, something like that. So that's not too bad. There's no real bubbles or anything in it or like, like pitting or anything like that, so I'm happy with that. I guess this was a win for the price you pay to actually do it. Like, yeah, it takes a little bit of time to do. This took me a whole day, but... In the end, it's cheaper than spending the two, three hundred dollars or whatever it is to get the sports armor to get the same look. Obviously, the sports armor would look a lot better up close, but like I only wanted to cover up that dent in the, I mean, the scrape in the front bar and the dent up the top. So that's actually covered that up pretty well. The I reckon the plastic have actually done more than the spray putty did. So hopefully, um, it won't chip and things like that with stone chips which it probably will a little bit but I'm hoping because the plastic dip's a bit of it a little bit rubberized I'm hoping it'll sort of um not repel it but won't take as much damage from it so anyway guys I'm all in all I'm pretty happy with that um it's pretty simple to do uh all you need is plastic dip and you know your tape and all that sort of thing and if you're not repairing anything on the bumper, then it's a lot quicker to do. You just got to clean it and paint it. So thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and hope it give you a little bit of inspiration to go out there and do it on your own car. Because like I said, it's pretty simple to do. But I hope you guys have a good day. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I've got a few more exciting things coming up to the car. 
We're gonna start cleaning it up now. So that's why you can see the badges off. It's probably really windy. I took it off while the bumper's off because I'm gonna repaint it because the paint on it just went really bad. That's gonna get done. We're gonna fix a couple of little dents in it that I think I've shown you before, but otherwise I'll show you anyway. And then we're just gonna start cleaning the car up because I have bigger plans. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you thought it was sick. And um, I guess we'll close it out with the wrap. Bye guys. you